What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and Weekly Crucible Bounty Rewards from last week on all three of my characters. So I'm going to try to complete the Weekly Crucible Bounties more often on my characters and if I can do so then I will add it on to this video for my Nightfall Rewards because the Weekly Crucible Bounties are supposed to be equivalent to the Nightfall Rewards once you complete all five of them from Lord Shax. So I'm going to show you guys my rewards from last week. Sorry for it being a little bit late, but I was trying to complete all the stuff so I could get my rewards for the video. So let's get straight into it. Starting off on my first character on my Hunter for the Nightfall rewards, we were able to get ourselves just a legendary helmet, the Dead Orbit one, and my two teammates got another legendary and some strange coins. So my helmet came in at 292, pretty poor reward in general. Moving on to my next character on my Titan for my Nightfall Rewards. We were able to get ourselves a exotic, we got the last word, hand cannon, and it came in at 310. Pretty cool. I actually didn't have a year two last word up until this point, so that was really good. And my two teammates got legendaries again, so that was pretty, pretty good for me and not the greatest for them. At least someone got a thousand yard stare. It's still a pretty decent sniper rifle, but I believe his perks weren't the greatest. And then finally for my last Nightfall Award on my Warlock, we were able to get ourselves just another Legendary and we got the Villainy Pulse Rifle which is the Future War Cult one. One of my teammates got some Three of Coins and my other teammate got the Immolation Fist Exotic Gauntlet. So not bad on that one, at least my two teammates got some decent stuff on that. And the Villainy Pulse Rifle is actually pretty decent but the perks I got on mine weren't that good. So those were my Nightfall Rewards for my three characters. Heading into the Crucible Rewards now. Starting off on my Hunter. We were able to get ourselves a NL Shadow a Legendary Scout Rifle and a Strange Coin. So the NL Shadow came in at 299 and the perks were Last Resort and Grenadier. Kind of looks similar to the Fang of Uryut from Year 1 in the Crota Zen Raid. And uh, the perks on it aren't the greatest but it looks like a solid scout rifle. I don't know if I'm going to use it though. So I'm probably going to just either dismantle it or use it as infusion fuel. Going into my next character for my Titan for the Crucible Reward, we got a competitive Ghost Shell, which was kind of a bummer. It came in at 300. And uh, pretty much the only time I want Ghost Shells is from the raid because I don't think I can get higher than a 310 Ghost Shell from any of these Nightfall tier rewards. So that was kind of a bummer there. And then finally for my last character on my Warlock, we were able to get ourselves a Revelator Hand Cannon and a Moda Light. So the Hand Cannon came in at 300 attack. It came with Triple Tap and Army of One. Uh, not the greatest looking Hand Cannon in terms of base stats, so I'm probably going to end up uh, dismantling that one. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll try to get a video of some of my Iron Banner loot once I play more Iron Banner for this week. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!